0.44 of a second. Ireland in seventh place, effectively eighth, in fact, of course. So the next event on the track, the uh, four by 100 meters relay for men. And these are the squads getting ready, stripped down, nice and warm in the uh, core room. They won't want to hang about once they get outside, though, because uh, this is not ideal sprinting weather. A degree of irony, many of these athletes wouldn't have been away. Warm weather training in the Canaries. Uh, the South Africans don't need to go too far to get warm weather, of course, from home. Although the uh, near 30-hour journey to get here to Silesia will have taken its toll on, on some of them. The Japanese, and of course, they are determined to put out a good showing, hosting the Olympics in a click a day or two over 12 weeks' time. Denmark have the inside lane, the same team for them and the same order as in the heats yesterday. So the eight teams about to come out through the tunnel load being introduced to the stadium. And Germany will be in that lane nine. Tights all round for those fellas, the same team in the same order as in the heat. The fourth fastest in qualifying, the German quartet. Ghana coming out again, the same squad, sixth fastest in qualifying. The Netherlands will be in lane seven. The same squad, but a slightly changed order. Their third and fourth leg runners have swapped round from yesterday. Fifth fastest in qualifying, the Netherlands. And uh, unless I'm mistaken, quite a few athletes will be running in tights here, Jenny. Don't often see that in a 4x100. No, you don't. But like we have said, you know, it is quite cool. And I guess with, you know, Olympic qualification already taken care of, a lot of these athletes just want to make sure they get through this uh, weekend in one piece. They'll be going home to sharpen up. So, uh, yeah, better being safe than sorry. We saw Brazil there in lane six. The Italians go in lane five. They were the fastest in the heat with 38.45. And they've got the same squad running in the same order. The South Africans third fastest in the heats they could be a real danger they're in lane four it's a nice draw for the south africans the japanese well they were a non-automatic qualifier didn't get through uh, as the one of the fastest two in their heat but they are in this final everything to run for therefore and denmark complete the lineup they will be in tame to lane two they will uh, they were eight fastest in qualifying, although they set a national record of 39.06. I wonder if they can go sub-39 here this evening. It would be special in these conditions, it has to be said, but they've already had a fabulous weekend of racing. Lane one, of course, is empty. Brazil, well, they were the winners in 2019, defeating the uh, USA, which was uh, quite a surprise. Great Britain didn't enter a team into this one. They were third back in 2019. Well, it's taken a little while to come through, but let's check the result from that mixed 4x400 meters relay. It was indeed Italy who ran to victory with a brilliantly judged effort from Davide Ray on the final leg. Brazil, great running too from them on the final leg to take second place. Dominican Republic third by the tiniest of margins. Belgium and Great Britain in fourth and fifth. And look at Spain and Ireland, 319.65 to uh, the Netherlands back in eighth place. Is that an adjusted result from what came up a few minutes ago? Well, these are always nervous moments for uh, all the relay runners in the 4x1. They're just taking their time. Of course, quite a lot of the time, a lot of these athletes will be racing against each other, especially in their own national championships. But they come together to form a quartet for this. Well, the Brazilians are building quite a reputation as fabulous carriers of the baton. Yesterday in the heats, there was one one thousandth of a second between Italy and Brazil. Italy the fastest by almost literally a vest's thickness. The South Africans in lane four, who were third quickest, and again, only a few hundreds of a second slower than Italy and Brazil, will be wanting to turn that around here. 
course, uh, Southern Hemisphere athletes had a, something of an advantage having their main summer season behind them. On the other hand, it is difficult for them to join together two summers effectively after a January, February, March of racing and then going straight into a May, June, July, August of racing. So Germany on the outside, Julian Reus on the outside will hand over to Hartmann, Almas and Schulter. Ghana with Safo Antwi leading them out. Van Hul of the Netherlands goes in lane seven, goes uh, as their lead up man. Brazil, the, champ, the uh, winners from 2019 go in sixth. The Italians in five will be fired up surely from that win in the mixed relay a few minutes ago. The South Africans go in four. Can they turn the tables here on Italy and Brazil? Japan in three with Sakai on the opening leg for them. And Denmark, Simon Hansen on the opening leg for them. We'll hand over to the experienced Kamanga Dierpak on leg two, Musa on leg three, and Shao Nielsen on leg four. Already a national record for their weekend's work, the Danish quartet. Same team, same order as ran so well yesterday for them in lane two. We had long holes yesterday. They will be expecting that again today. Denmark in two, Japan three, South Africa four, Italy five, Brazil six, Netherlands seven, Ghana eight, Germany nearest the camera in lane nine. Well, away cleanly. I don't think we've had a full start all weekend yet. Oh, and the German has eased up on the outside, I'm afraid. Reus, and that's his squad done and out. Hamstring, it looked like for Reus. There's certainly a cramp of some kind, hopefully not serious, as they battle on down the back straight, going really well at the Italians. Maybe slightly up on the Brazilians there in the green. The Italians moving up on the Brazilians, although a good change from the Brazilians. Brazil leading at the moment from Italy and South Africa. South Africa still in this one. It's going to be really tight. Brazil, though, have a meter on South Africa. Italy messed up that final change over their way back now. It's Brazil under pressure from South Africa, but are going to run out of track. It's about six inches, maybe ten centimeters, something like that, at the finish line. And Brazil retain their winner's status. Fabulous from them. Huge disappointment for the Germans, and we'll have to have a look at what happened to the Italians. I didn't spot it there in the close confines of that uh, final changeover with all eight teams, or seven teams as it turned out to be, so close together. But I think the South Africans just falling short, Jenny, by the tiniest of margins. Yeah, Simbini ran quick, didn't he, on that last straight. Uh, so much action in 38 seconds. It's hard to replay it in your head, but yeah, I think South Africa did just not quite get that win. They're looking up at the screen. Oh, in fact, I'm corrected. I think they took it by a hundredth of a second. Yes, they seem to have seen the results. Wow. <laughs> well, well done to the South Africans. Talk about running through the tape. Make every centimetre count. And they did just that. He was closing very, very quickly indeed, the South African anchorman Simbine. And we know he's special. Sub 10 second sprinter. And coming at the end of his season, the rain just beginning to come down for the first time today. There was a little bit overnight, but uh, ironically, as that 4 by 100 finishes, 38.71 for South Africa. It's a little bit slower than they ran in the heats, but that's to be expected. 38.49 in the heats. These conditions are worth a few metres. There's no doubt about that. But I could have sworn the Brazilians took that one. I'd love to see the photo finish. It must have been the tiniest of margins. Well, again, I think it's one of those lessons run all the way through the line. And I didn't think Simbini was going to get there. I thought the gap was too large. So much advancements in technology these days that we can actually work out what time all of these individual athletes did every single 100 metres. But here we go again from the start, just in lane nine on the outside here, the German guy, you could just see he gets a cramp. So disappointed for the outgoing runner on second leg. Oh, they just have a little bit of an embrace there. This is the end of the second leg. Jacobs there from Italy. Fantastic run down the back straight. The change wasn't necessarily clean. 
And here we go. This is the third exchange now. And Simbini, it took him a while to get going. That baton wasn't quite steady in his hand. But here he goes, that last 50 metres. High knee lift all the way, driving all the way to the line. Of course, it's the chest that breaks the line first. And he was deemed to do that by one hundredth of a second over the Brazilians. 38.71, 38.72. And the Brazilian last leg athlete there, Camilo de Oliveira, he gave everything, but maybe, maybe dipped a couple of strides early. And he was overstriding his last three or four strides, whereas the South African, Simbine, got it absolutely spot on. Ghana taking third place from near the outside, with the Germans having dropped out in that first leg. Ghana were effectively on the outside. And Joseph Paul Amoa, what a run it was from him to take uh, third place, 39.11. Again, just marginally slower than they ran yesterday in the heat. Again, it's all down to the uh, conditions, but that doesn't matter because the conditions are the same for everybody. Italy finishing in fourth place. They were the fastest in the heat. They will be frustrated with that, 39.21. But it does emphasise, Jenny, how absolutely critical and what a huge difference it can make whether or not you get your changeovers right or wrong. It does, and a lot of these teams will take a long time, you know, meeting throughout the season on squad weekends to make sure they hone those baton skills. All the analysts will be there for the member federations as well, making sure they look at this. This is a vital weekend for these teams in preparation to Tokyo. Well, the Netherlands failing to finish as well in that one amidst all the uh, action. Japan fifth, Denmark sixth. Let's have a look at that uh, Dutch changeover. There they are, second to left. The Netherlands out in lane seven. And the leader, the man going out, went off way too soon and was gone and way out of the zone before his colleague was anywhere near him. What a shame for the Dutch, Paulina Tagaria. Well, that was the change, wasn't it? They did change the third and fourth leg.